What's up everyone, James here, and in today's video we're gonna be unboxing and taking a look at this. This is an RO unit, and this is by a company called Finer Filters. So for all you newcomers out there, um, RO units, or reverse osmosis units, the idea of them is to take uh, water that comes from your tap and uh, uh, filter it um, to become sort of pure water. So you're removing any chemicals or toxins that might be in the water, not that there should be any, but it's, it's essentially any, any solids or minerals and all that sort of stuff, it completely strips the water from anything that's on there and gives you pure water. Um, now, if you're using it in an aquarium, obviously you have to remineralize the, these, um, this, this water um, if you're just using that, or you can alternatively use RO in conjunction with uh, the water from your tap already, and that helps soften the water that you have um, that comes out of your tap. So hopefully that clears things up. So without further ado, let's take a look at the kit and uh, get stuck right into it. So this is the Finer Filters um, RO unit. Um, it's the 75 gallon one, which is roughly 340 liters. Um, I got it on a deal on Amazon for about a couple of quid more than what the 50 gallon one was. So it was about 52 pounds, I think it was. Um, so yeah, not too bad. So let's have a look inside. So this looks like a, a membrane of some sort. Um, <clears throat> here's the actual unit itself. It's fairly heavy. And what else do we get? Some piping. Uh, user guide. And like a, a spanner or a wrench or something. And a few other fittings. Um, some sort of bracket and like a tap. I think these are all the fittings so you can fit it to a, a pipe if you want to like um, one of your, your water pipes. So it looks like a, a valve there and then um, a few of the connectors and a, uh, a valve as well. Yeah. So this is the manual. A few bits in there about how it works and how to install it, <clears throat> etc. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to actually fit it to um, a pipe in the house or if I'm just going to connect it to my outdoor uh, tap um, just for the time being and uh, see how it works. So I don't know if you can see on here, but it tells you the stages of what happens when you uh, filter water through this. So polypropylene um, is the pre-filter to remove sediment and dirt down to five microns. Then stage two is granular activated carbon uh, filter to remove chlorine. Then stage three is the reverse osmosis membrane, which filters down to 0.0001 micron. And then the fourth stage unit is a post DI resin chamber um, to remove any remaining ions.
So for those of you setting it up for the first time, um, it's a bit confusing, but according to the instructions, this red stopper is where the cold water supply goes into the system. The black stopper here is where the um, waste um, water goes into your drain. And then the blue um, right here is where your actual RO water comes out. All right, everyone. So it's been four weeks since I had some problems with this old RO unit. So the biggest issue I had was trying to get these stoppers out of the, um, the holders here. And uh, after a bit of back and forward with finer filters, um, it turns out that these ones have been wedged in. I don't know if I've got them stuck or if they were just like out of the factory, but I cannot for the life of me get them out. Um, so after a few bits being sent, still didn't work. Um, turns out we get a new unit sent. Um, and uh, yeah, I've uh, finally been able to remove the stoppers. So these are the things that uh, you need to take out. And I uh, also found out that um, I was doing it correctly. Um, because uh, I was a little bit worried I wasn't, but the manual doesn't actually explain this at all very well. And the way that you get these stoppers out is that they're in these little sections here. So once you take these clips off, like this, um, the stoppers are, are in here, like quite about sort of a quarter of the way in. And what you need to do is you need to push this down as far as it'll go and then pull the stopper at the same time. And that's an absolute nightmare to do if you're uh, doing it by yourself. I actually had to get my wife to do it with me. And as you can see that I've got one of the stoppers stuck in again. Um, so I will need to push that down and get that out. So there you go. Yeah, back off again. Um, but yes, you have to take off the stopper from here, here and here. And you have to make sure you get these clips off. And like I said, you push this little piece of plastic down, and then you pull the, the, uh, the actual uh, cap off. But um, again, I tried this loads of times with this old unit and I just can't get these caps out, um, which is a bit unfortunate. Thankfully this kit comes with a few different bits um, to help uh, connect it to a water outlet. So I have an outside tap, um, so I should be able to just screw this little cap on here. And then I plug the tube in from here and that goes into the inlet there. All right, so we've got our cables. We've got um, the cable. So this is where the tap will be coming out. Um, so the water will be coming out of the tap in the, uh, the, the outdoor tap into this unit. This is where any wastewater will go. 
Once, and then this last section is where you will get your pure RO water. Okay, so uh, next uh, next play here is, um, so you have to do two system flushes. So the first one, uh, you do a flush of the system before adding this uh, membrane um, to the unit. So we have to plug this in and then leave it for 10 minutes with the water on. And then after that, we can pour the water out. Then we insert the membrane and then we do one final flush for another 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, let's get outside and have a look. Okay, everyone, got my unit set up now. So I've connected to the tap. There's the unit, and then I've got my waste pipe. Hopefully it'll be enough to get it back into my water butt because I don't want to waste any water. And then um, I've got the, the last unit here. That's gonna go into this little tub to try out. So let's go. Turn it down a little bit. Looks like a sleep. Let's see if I can tighten that up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that seems to work better. Ooh, yeah. Seems like something's happening. Yeah. Get yeah, water. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave that 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it. All right, everyone, it's been 10 minutes and as you can see, it's already starting to fill up that jug there. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off now for the time being. And then, from what the manual says, we now have to fit this membrane. And now, again, it doesn't, it doesn't give clear like visual instructions, but um, it is detailed enough to understand what it is. But you have to put this membrane into this housing here and you unscrew it using this spanner Okay, as you can see, there was a bit of a pain, um, but I managed to get it back on. I think it's tight enough, so let's try it again and see how we go. just finished um, I'm not sure 100% if it's working or not because it was dripping ever so slightly and it seems like more was coming out of the the exit but uh, I'm just gonna double check on YouTube to see if the membrane was put in the right way a minute ago so I'll be back in a sec yep so it looks like the membrane is in the right way um, according to the internet so um, maybe it's just a pressure thing or something so uh, I'll empty the old dirty water and then I'll stick this back on again and see how we go. All right, so one last time, I'm just gonna stick the RA unit on here to see if the height maybe helps with um, uh, getting the water out, um, probably not. And I've also 
just put the lid slightly over just in case any sort of rainwater comes uh, into the unit. So let's try one more time and see how we go. I mean, it doesn't say in the manual about how high to put the pressure on this, so I don't want to go too overkill just in case the, the thing pops or blows up. Okay, everyone. It's been about two hours now since uh, turning on the system. And I'd say we're probably a quarter of the way, maybe. Interesting. And uh, I had to use the actual drain in my garden to get rid of the old uh, water because uh, fortunately my water butt is full. So it's a bit of a shame there to waste the water. Okay, quick revisit. It's been about four hours now. And I'd say we're about halfway in the 25 litre tub. Okay everyone, it's uh, day two and uh, I'm gonna try again this time um, just to see if I can get the rest of the way up. Um, the thing I'm gonna do this today is put a bucket here for the waste because I'm really mindful about how much water is actually getting wasted um, compared to how much water I'm actually getting um, you know, sort of PRRO water and I'm just sort of a bit mindful on the environment and how um, you know, sort of right it is to be using so much water. So I just did an experiment to see how much uh, this fills up in the next couple of hours, um, really. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, everybody. So it's been 20 minutes and I thought I'd just come out here and check and I seem to have already filled a nine litre bucket, which is just crazy. All right, guys, I just wanted to give this system the benefit of the doubt, obviously with the slow flow and stuff. I read in the user manual that um, it could be um, some air or something trapped in the system. So um, they, they sort of recommend in the manual to uh, try and uh, flush it out again. So I'm gonna uh, do what it says in the manual and uh, try a bit of a flush and then try it again and see if that improves the flow. All right, guys, a bit more success now. Um, so what I think it was is a gravity thing. So uh, I've raised the RO unit slightly higher and shortened the cable to the bucket here. And I don't know if you can see in here, but there's a, well, now I've moved it again, but there's a better flow um, than what it was. Now I've just touched it. Um, and yeah, it seems to be draining out a little less water now. So maybe that was the fix. I don't know, um, but let's uh, give it 20 minutes and see how far it's, uh, it's filled up. All right, everyone, checking back in after 40 minutes. It looks like things have been speeding up a bit. Um, it's definitely filled up a lot more than what it was. I'd say probably about an inch, maybe. Um, I think from beforehand it was probably about there, the water level, so it's probably raised to about there, so it's not too bad, I guess. And uh, just check the waste. Um, I've got this little old kit here um, that I was just pouring water into. It's an old water softener that was in my garden. And I scored the pipe there um, are those levels so it seems to have gone up quite a bit so I would say that probably a third of the water that comes out of the tap is uh, going into the bucket over here and the other two thirds are probably uh, waste so I'm still not convinced if that's uh, a good thing or not but uh, it's better than what it was. I think in terms of uh, water flow as well this system is a bit temperamental and you have to make sure these pipes are proper straight because a second ago I noticed that this was just slightly up there so that might be the reason why I was getting a lot of flow issues as well so I'll try it again and come back in another say 20 minutes and see how far we go so we're nearly up to that line there so let's see how it is in 20 minutes time all right so the system has been going for another 20 minutes and that makes about an hour today and uh, I mean it's getting there so it's not too bad but it looks like this where I've put all the spare water is nearly full. So yeah, it's uh, still a lot of waste, I think. 
All right, guys, so this is my 25 litre tub. That's about as far as I'm gonna go with it in terms of filling it up. So that's taken me on average about five, seven hours probably now to get 25 litres of water. So you can sort of see the example of, you know, how long and how much water is probably wasted um, in getting this RO water. But, you know, it is pure and uh, yeah, all the values are, you know, for hardness and that are at zero. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix some of this with my actual tap water and then I'm gonna see how long it takes me to go through this whole tub. Okay, this is a two litre jug and uh, I've just poured myself um, a litre of RO water. So I've got my TDS meter here. So let's check to see what the TDS is first on the water. So we get a TDS of 0 0.03 or 003. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Now what I'm gonna do is add uh, half uh, fill the rest up sorry so another litre of tap water and see what kind of uh, TDS we get and also do a uh, sort of a test strip and see what kind of uh, measurements we're getting with the water as well. Okay so that's uh, half and half now so again use the TDS and see so what are we doing? So a point, no, 0.98 TDS Okay, and let's use a test strip as well just to see kind of uh, what kind of hardness we're getting and all the rest of it. So it looks like when using um, tap water to the RO, I'm still getting like quite hard, hard water. It's not as bad as it was. Um, certainly a lot lower. I would say that the figures are probably around there. So 60 and 80, so it's, it's not as bad, which is good. Um, so hopefully that's a bit better for the uh, the fish. And it uh, looks like the pH is sort of staying around, roughly around uh, 7.5 there, so. Okay, everyone, so it's been possibly, if I think back to when I actually bought this around Christmas time and we're now March, this has been roughly around three months since uh, I first purchased the unit and everything that's coming in between. So hopefully I've given a bit of an extensive uh, sort of look at, if not over the top maybe, uh, look at the unit and how to put it together and uh, you know, sort of what, what what happens with when you mix the water and, and, and what sort of TDS that you get from it and all those sort of things. I think some of my final thoughts really on the product in terms of overview is that um, Possibly I feel like the manual, although it is clear in places, probably could do with a little um, sort of beginnering up, I guess, um, if you're, especially if you're new to the uh, systems. Um, for me personally, I was brand new to it, so I found it a little difficult at the beginning to uh, sort of follow along. Um, it, could have been nice if there was like some more pictures or some bit clearer text, I guess. In terms of the unit itself, it's uh, it's pretty decently well built. Um, the only problem that I had um, right at the beginning was obviously the issue with uh, removing the the caps from uh, certain parts of the uh, the unit to uh, to add the hoses to. And for me, that was the biggest pain. Um, you know, the the instructions weren't clear at all about uh, how to remove those uh, those those um, those little plugs there. So uh, for me, I feel like that that needs to be you know sort of maybe addressed in the manual um, going forward. Hopefully, it is. You know, um, but uh, that was the thing that got me. And it didn't help that obviously the first unit that I got was, uh, or I had the issue with those clips as well. Now, like I said earlier on, it could have been me, um, it could have not been, but uh, yeah, that was something that I found quite stressful. In terms of the, the actual water that you get out, I think it does a great job with filtering out uh, most of the solids. I was getting 0 0.003, I think it was, um, when I first uh, checked and uh, you know, it's sort of roughly been around that going forward. So uh, it seems to be quite consistent. Um, like I said, I've only had the, the RO unit, say from the actual new one that I've got probably 
about a month and a half, um, maybe a little bit longer. So uh, it's hard to tell. I'm still early days with you know trialing trialing the uh, the actual water that's coming out of it, but it seems to be good so far. Um, again, like I said, the water coming out of it's uh, pretty decent. Uh, again, my only problem was that I feel I don't think this is an issue with this particular filter. I think this is probably RO units in general is the amount of waste that comes from them now. You could argue that um, if you hook these up to a sort of a big uh, water tub that you have in your garden, then at least you don't waste all the water that uh, comes out of the unit. Um, you can sort of store it into the tub and then use it, you know, on, on, on the days where, um, you know, you need to water your plants. The only problem with that is in England, we get a lot of rain anyway, so my water butts are already full. I've got two in the garden and just from pure rain, I have two full buds so I can't really use yet another system to pump water into it because it's just overflowing so for me I've got the problem at the moment of just I feel like a lot of waste and it makes me feel really guilty about wasting the water um, when you know you could some could argue that you can get away with using whatever tap water that you've got um, you know if whether it's hard or, or soft and for me I've got hard water in my area so that was the idea of using the unit is to see if I can soften my water using some sort of system like this but of course there are natural ways to do this you know you could argue that if you do no water changes to a planted aquarium like the one below uh, behind me sorry um, over time if you just do gradual top-ups with maybe some RO water you know the, the water would uh, soften up naturally or if you just you know don't do any water changes and let the plants do the filtering then that will just completely you know self-sustained ecosystem there naturally reduce the, uh, the 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 hardness of the water because the plants will uptake all the minerals in the uh, water column i think one other thing that could be considered a benefit is if you are just using RO water for top ups and stuff. Um, I have a 25 litre container which uh, I filled up in the video and uh, I have probably reached about halfway using it um, and I'm only using top ups um, or RO unit RO water for top ups in some of my aquariums but not all of them. Um, so you know usage wise um, it's lasting a while which is obviously a big benefit there to me um, because having to use that system to do water changes for a whole aquarium would be an absolute nightmare because it would take ages so I think I'd probably have to go a different route if I was doing that by probably purchasing it um, because it would probably be a lot quicker than spending the amount of time that I did waiting for the actual water to, uh, to be filtered myself. So is the product decent then? Well, in terms of build quality, yes, it's very solid. Um, the caps on them are very tight and uh, quite sturdy as well. Um, I dropped it a few times when I was testing it. Um, but it was purely by mistake, but uh, yeah, it was a good trial. And uh, it's not broken on me, which is really good. Um, the pipe work is all really good on it as well. I think the clips are quite solid. And when you connect the hoses to the, the little outlet pieces that are there, like the waste part and uh, where the, uh, the the fresh water comes out and where the water goes in, all of that seems really solid. So that was really nice, and um, you know the hose that you got with it was uh, a really nice quality as well. So I think that was a real benefit. I would like to address one point, which is uh, the customer service that I got from Finer Filters. Now um, I did end up after a bit of back and forth uh, getting a, a replacement RO unit sent to me, which I really appreciate. Um, but it did take uh, quite a while for the uh, the replies to come through from my email. Now, swinging the viewpoint, you know, at the time that this video was filmed, we were in the middle of a, a global pandemic. So, you know, I can understand that there's probably a lot of issues with staffing and, uh, you know, how many people are available to answer customer service and stuff. So, so hopefully going forward, you know, as, as, as the world returns back to some sort of normality you know hopefully customer service wise you know that 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 would be improved uh, going forward but i just thought it was worth addressing so is it worth buying then in terms of the product quality and stuff yes um it's a very good product I, you know from what i've uh, experienced myself um like i said the only issue i had was the the connectors there um but in terms of uh, the actual quality of the product and what it produced yes really well uh, it takes a while to produce uh, the water, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, but that probably is due to the size of this unit and maybe the bigger ones have, uh, you know, uh, a faster flow. I know that some RO units you can get sort of pumps that you can attach to them to help push the water through quicker, um, but I haven't got one of them. In terms of like 
you know a, a sort of a, a a genuine long-term review I can't give because this has only been a couple of months so I, I, you know it, it, my, my opinions on it could change um, for now I'm, I'm happy with the product and you know and what it's doing whether I will continue using it for the long term I don't know I like to experiment with different things and and obviously I feel that in my own personal view that you can get away with using tap water um, after you've sort of steadily uh, sort of gone through the process um, some people don't like that but uh, you know that that may be a route that some people would go to or not I think product wise you know if you're looking for an RO unit this is a great one to start with uh, it's, uh, it's it's low cost so you know if you're dipping your toes in like I was I didn't have to shell out you know a hell of a lot of money to uh, to, to buy one of these products to try out so that was a real good benefit um, so yeah I, I think uh, worth a try if that's what you're looking for to go down an RO unit route or alternatively maybe a, uh, a local fish shop or you know there's this in the UK there's these big containers that you can uh, sort of drive up to and, uh, and fill up RO water yourself so you know and I've heard they're quite cheap but in terms of wastage and stuff you could argue that either way there's still going to be a lot of waste so and that was probably the biggest thing for me but that I don't think is an issue with the actual company itself that produced this RO unit I think that's just a generalization of RO units in general so I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below love to hear your thoughts on RO units and uh, what you think of this one obviously I have uh, my own opinions on them but uh, other people might have more positive or, or even negative uh, experiences of it uh, but this was just an overview and how to set it up so I hope I covered everything I tried to be fair about this video um, I've given it a long time you know a good couple of months now since I first purchased the product so I feel like I've I've experienced enough to, to give this you know this stage of a review and uh, maybe I can readdress this in uh, six months or a year's time, you know, who knows. So if you could hit that subscribe button as well, it really helps me out. Um, I put out weekly videos on all my fish keeping antics, you know, uh, I give tips, tricks, reviews, and a whole lot more. So hopefully there's something for everybody. I've got some really great videos on the way uh, coming up, you know, some more reviews and uh, some more sort of vlogs and things like that. So hopefully there's something for you to check out in the future. And until next time, you stay safe.